morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Melanie Alnwick. Well, up ahead, we're going to break some food habits. We have some secrets to eliminate the word diet from your vocabulary. Plus, summer... Well, breaking those bad food habits, a lot of times it's really, really tough, and all of us have bad food habits, but it can be more simple than you think. Self-nourishment counselor and author of Eat to Feel Full, Jeanette Rone, joins us this morning to explain. And um, we were just talking with Josh about bad food habits, right? And I was exactly. saying, I'm trying to cut the carbs, but I really... I'm addicted to them and the sugar and all the bad stuff, but, but you have some tips for us to sort of break those bad habits. I do, because our bad habits are sort of like so ingrained in us because they're so automatic. Mm -hmm. And that's actually the nature of habits, how they help us along every day. Right. So we get hard on ourselves for not being able to break them, but we need that mindfulness that says, wait a minute, what is it really that I want, right? But it's not that sort of like, you know, a lot of times we've talked emotional eating. What do you really want? It's really understanding that the body craves sugar, yes, fat, mm -hmm. and salt. Yes, those are those taste elements, but it's also what the body needs. They need carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Because I find like what I do is I go through these weeks. So I say, okay, I'm not going to have any carbs. I'm not going right. to have any sugar, and I'm good for right. the first half of the day. And exactly. then when I get home, it is just yeah. full on. Yeah, and that's what often happens. We undereat all day. We eat salad and mm -hmm. barely and you feel so anything. Good about yes, and then you come home, and really our survival me mechanism kicks in, because we're supposed to be able to starve ourselves all day, <laughs> but then we're also binge at night. Great. And then people get mm -hmm. stuck, yeah, right? Yeah, we do. So, um, what are some ways that we can break those habits and build new habits? Well, one of them, as I said before, is to understand that what we crave is, for example, fat, right? Mm -hmm. So we go for fried foods. It doesn't have to be. Okay. So we might have a story that says, oh, the chicken wings and when I was there. So we have a memory with it and that triggers us. Right. Right. But if we get a little more mindful mm -hmm. and the body says, well, I need fat, you can go for a nice guacamole and some good chips mm -hmm. because there's the salt. Yeah, guacamole But now we're choosing amazing. a healthier version of it and you feel more satisfied from it. And you got the fiber in there and it's not one of those trigger foods anymore. And can you have as much guacamole as you want? <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance you're not going to overeat on it because you actually get satisfied from it. Your yeah. body needs nutrients so that it actually says, now I have enough. Okay, and, and what is this? That is my favorite secret sugar okay. addict recipe. Really? Okay, because basically what it is is watermelon. Okay. And it's just watermelon. You can put berries in it. You can put other things in it that are fresh and available in mm -hmm. the season, but just in a blender. It's a great way to nourish yourself with the sugars and the sweetness that you like because we want sweetness. We, uh, we there's do. no way, yeah. there's just no way we're going to be without the carbs. But it's the good carbs that we need, right? And so watermelon, a lot of people are like, oh, there's too much sugar in it. Actually, it's very high in water, very hydrating, especially for the summer. And it's not as high in sugar as you would think. Okay, I'm going to give that a try. So yeah. what do you do? Is this just in a blender. Just watermelon in a blender and then whatever else. You can else. put berries in it if you have berries. And it looks like, do you, do you puree it or do you try to leave it a little chunky? I leave it a little chunky. And I like to have these jaws with me or, a, you know, a, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. Keep it cold, bring it along, sip it. It's a great snack in the afternoon instead of hitting the cookie jaw. Okay. And I also see oatmeal here. Another thing that I think, oh, I shouldn't have oatmeal. That's too many carbohydrates. It's a good complex carb. And one of the things I love about it is, again, you can bring it along. Mm -hmm. You can soak it overnight okay. and bring it along in the morning, and that way you have an easy thing to bring to the office. Or you can make it in the morning. I use an oat milk or a hemp milk or something mm -hmm. like that. I don't. And why do you use that instead of a, a cow's milk? Just because I personally, as a nutritionist, don't favor dairy products sure. unless they're, you know. A lot of people, I think, are, are afraid to try yeah. almond milk, soy yeah. milk, um, other sorts of milks out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the nut milks has a really nice flavor and taste to it, and they're feeling a little bit more satiating. Mm -hmm. Dairy can be a trigger food, but also a lot of people are lactose intolerant, mm -hmm. can give you migraines. And there are some things with dairy that can be an issue, and then it is, you know, we have issues with some of the so you, you, dairy how, products. So how long do you have to soak this for? You, can, you could actually eat it sort of like more or less right away. Mm -hmm. It's a little more chewy that way. If you soak it overnight, you can also add chia seeds and all kinds of other yummy stuff to it. it gets it again more that feel full feeling to it. But you can actually eat it right away like that. It's more like a muesli. Do the um, do the nut but uh, nut milks? Do they have to um, stay refrigerated or do they not spoil? They once you open them, they and need you to do stay refrigerated. Yeah, yeah. But until they are opened, you can leave them. Okay. In the well, cupboard. 
I, I think I have some more survival strategies and a few more tips here. Again, uh, the book is Eat to Feel Full by uh, Jeanette Brunet. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and uh, giving us a few alternatives here, trying to break those bad habits Thank that we you. have. All right, well, uh, still to come, uh, we're going to talk.